Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to install Mtop NG on Ubuntu. Um, Mtop NG is a next generation network traffic probe or monitor. So you can basically use this to monitor your network traffic on your um, local network. This is also used by enterprise and universities and other large organizations and it is open source um, if you're using it for private use or if you're a university or non-profit organization but if you're using this for business um, it's there's a fee for some of the features but for the most part it's free if you wanted to use this at home so it's very easy to install First thing you need to do is you need to have an Ubuntu, Debian, or Cent OS, um, OS, or um, I think now they have Raspberry Pi and Windows and Mac OS. But for this tutorial, or oh, you can also do it on PFSense. Um, I really don't like the idea of installing this on PFSense because um, PFSense is a firewall. And Personally, I prefer to leave my PS Sense to do traffic filtration, so I don't I don't like to install any other extra packages on there. But it's possible you can just go to the, your PF Sense and go to packages and install and top ng. But anyways, for this tutorial, we'll be doing Ubuntu. So you want to go to packages.ntop.org, which I'm going to leave at the link below. Um, you click on download, and depending on your OS, uh, we'll be using Ubuntu today. So we're going to select um, the Ubuntu side, but you, if you're using CentOS, you can go ahead and do it. The commands will be slightly different, but they all use the same packages for Linux. So we'll go ahead and do the nightly builds. So depending on which version of Ubuntu you're using, um, you have to follow the instructions on there. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. You can see I have my command line interface already open on here. So I SSH into my virtual machine. This is actually a virtual machine that I have running on VMware ESXi. So once you have that, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and start by installing uh, the software properties using wget or wget. So you're going to copy this and paste that on the command line and let it install the packages. So once you do that, we're going to add the APT repository to our Ubuntu box. And so we're going to go ahead and paste that. So you can either type this in or um, go ahead and copy and paste it. So as we can see, this is already added. So we'll go ahead now and download the actual NTOB package. Then we'll install it using the command apt install period forward slash or backward slash apt and top the dev or deb. And once that installation is done, now you want to go all the way to the bottom of the page to install the packages. So we're done installing NTOP by itself, but it has dependencies that we have to install in order for this um, program to work. So there are um, one, two, three, four, there are five different packages we have to install. So we're going to need to install PF Frame, uh, NPROP, NTOP NG, N2 Disk, and CentO. All right, so installing the dependencies, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and run the command um, apt clean all. And once we do that, we're going to do an update of our 
um, Ubuntu system since we did add um, the repository into the settings. So now we're gonna have to do an update to have that pull those from end up. So once you do that, we're gonna actually install the packages now. You have to make sure you follow these instructions exactly as they are, because if you don't, at some point it's going to fail, especially for these packages, because we're going to have to have all these packages to be able to run the actual program ends of MJ. So it's very important you want to make sure you go to the link and follow the installation instructions. Jealous. The packages are done for uh, PFRAME, DKMS, and PROB, and TOP NG, and to this consent oh, we're going to install the drivers for PFRAME. So we want to go ahead and do that. And once you wait for that to complete, the next thing we're going to have to do is install NBOX and NEDGE. Um, as you see on here, the P frame drivers are um, actually optional, but I go ahead and install them anyways. So you can skip that if you want. But if if this is your first time installing this and you've never used NTOP NG before, I would say just go ahead and install it. So just we're trying to test and get familiar with the using the NTOP NG for traffic or web traffic analysis and flow collection. So we want to have everything to be able to learn. So we we'll just go ahead and install all the packages. So once all that's installed, we're just going to do an update, an upgrade to our um, Ubuntu OS by running the commands uh, apt get update and apt get upgrade and we want to make sure everything is up to date before we actually run ntop engine so i'm going to pause the video here and i'll be back once the upgrade is done and we will go ahead and load up our browser and try to log on into ntop ng for the first time Okay, so once the installation is done, you're going to go on your browser and you're going to put the IP address of um, the virtual machine or the physical desktop or laptop that you installed and top on and you view the IP address and using port 3000. And that's going to take us to the web server of ntop ng at this point all you need to do is log in as admin and the default password is admin too and then it's going to want us to set up a new password of which you're going to give it your most secret password and once that is done it takes us right into the user interface so as we can see, we've successfully installed NTOP NG on this virtual machine. And I did actually have to mirror um, one of the ports on my switch. So it directly sends um, traffic that it gets from my PSN firewall onto this NTOP NG virtual machine. Now that we have that installed, that is it for this tutorial. Um, as you can see, we already getting a lot of alerts and traffic into NTOP NG. You can see um, it's already detecting uh, the top application traffic going on in my network. So we have Amazon, Google, Syslog, Ubuntu One, and BitTorrent. I don't know where that's coming from, but 
apparently someone is using BitTorrent on my network. So, but you can see all here, this is the traffic coming in and going out. This is my domain controller. That's my curator, VM. And then you have my gateway, which is my PFSense firewall. And you can always go ahead. If you have multiple interfaces, you can change it. Uh, the reason why I have two interfaces on here is because I did have to install a specific interface. This ENX is a USB to is a USB C to um, Ethernet adapter interface that I installed to um, connect. So it's connected to my switch, and then my switch mirrors the traffic from the port where my PFSense router is installed on onto my um, NTOP engine so I can get all this traffic. So all this traffic is coming from my PFSense firewall. And you see just a quick overview here, you have the dashboard where you can go see the traffic. Um, we can go to network discovery and we can go ahead and discover the networks in your environment. Uh, we can go to alerts, we can look at detected alerts. If we see in here, we already detecting some alerts, ghost network detected. So the ghost network is basically networks that are detected that is not within the same network range as your NTOP NG device. So this is a VLAN that I use for something else and it detected it as a ghost network but that's still within my network so you can go to um, flow alerts and we can see right out of the box we get default alerts for um, flows tcp connection ref refused on redirect shuna udp traffic low good put ratio and flow risk um, we can go to flows and we'll see active flows. You can see on here that um, it shows you the applications that are being used. So you can see um, syslog is on the top of the list. And then we have BitTorrent, we have Snapchat, uh, Google services, and so on. So I'm, I'm going to have to do another follow-up tutorial on a tour and on how to use and configure your NTOP NG virtual machine or physical appliance in your environment. But now that we're done with the installation, you can go in there and take a look at the options and settings you have on there. So it's pretty good. It gives you a lot of insight about which traffic is going in and out of your network. So at this point, I'm going to end the video because we're done with the installation. Um, look out for other videos coming up on actually how to configure your NTOP NG virtual machine or appliance. And so we'll go into the settings and do a tour on the different options you have in here. So if you have any questions, you can always leave it on the comment section. You can send me an email to you. But other than that, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So hit the like button if you like the video and you can also subscribe to my channel.